It's that time of year again. The sun is going into hibernation. The fairways are covered in snow. And your clubs are feeling the cold chill of neglect. In the early stages of... No. Sorry, wrong photo. This bright young fellow looks like he has scurvy. And yet he still looks happy. Unlike the early stages of vitamin D deficiency where you find yourself crying more than usual. It happens. If you live in a place that has this, this, or this... This week's blog may not apply to your lucky ass life. Tune in next week and learn how pennies can help your putting. Hi, I'm Colby Johansson. Welcome to Quite the Chap. For all of us that don't have sunshine palm trees and lush green fairways to scratch that golfing itch and brighten our otherwise dreary ass winter, I've got something for us. Yes, scotch, without question. But something equally as pleasing. An in-home golf studio. All you need for this particular one is money. Lots of money. How do I get that kind of money, you ask? Well, if you haven't already risen through the ranks of a major corporation, become CEO, inflated the stock, and cashed out before it went bankrupt, you could join an organization of some kind and rise through the ranks a la this good-looking guy. If that seems like an occupational hazard, I've got two inexpensive options. Option number one. Recognize this? More specifically, this. Exactly. Indoor-outdoor carpet or what people in Yuma call the front yard. At Home Depot, you can get the Traffic Master Long Weekend for about $40, and it's adequate. But you can blow the bank at $50 and get a piece of six foot by eight foot AstroTurf. I know what you're thinking. Is it good? Well, they're satisfactory for minimal costs. They roll true for the most part, and they're just a great place to work on your fundamentals. And you don't need anything bigger than eight feet as most of your must-make putts are within six feet of the hole. And I know you're thinking, where's the hole? Right there, there's your hole. Only cost you $5 at Edwin Watts, Nevada, Bob's, Golf USA, Golf Smith, Golf Town, Golf Store, anywhere in the world. But if you putt to this in the off season, not only will you sharpen your focus, it'll make the hole look like the Grand Canyon. That's it, cost you 50 bucks max and you can roll it up when you have company. Now, say you have a few more dollars. Still with a small budget, you can get more. This is what I got. This putting green comes from the frigid mountains of Colorado and from the makers of the Birdie Ball. Best new product at the 2005 PJ Merchandise Show. Birdie Ball! These greens range in size from 16 inches by 9 feet all the way up to 8 feet by 18 feet. And they range in price from $39 to $550. My first impressions? That's right. I love it. It rolls absolutely true, and because it's a half inch thick, the ball actually falls into a hole. Or a depression, depending on your definition of a hole. And it's super light and portable, so it's really easy to roll up and move around if need be. I'm not going to do a full review at this point. Give me a couple weeks to play around on it, and then I'll break it down for you. That's it. Two inexpensive putting greens to pull you through the winter. Scratch that Saturday afternoon golfing itch. And if you truly want to improve your putting, the birdie ball putting green is a no-brainer. Just like subscribing to this blog, obviously. Tune in next time, and I'll start showing you how to improve your putting in the simplest ways possible. The simplest. Like, two plus two simple. Until then, I'm quite the chat.